Howdy y'all, welcome back to Lil Bits. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about a new project my team and I are undertaking. As custom integrated circuit or chip design becomes more and more accessible to the common individual, it has become a realistic goal for us to create our own silicon for dedicated purposes. To this end, I want to announce the ODIN project or Open Dedicated Video Interface. With ODIN, we're attempting to create a standard video interface in the spirit of the MOS 6560, also known as the VIC-2 video chip. The goal is to create something that is capable of interfacing with any 8-bit platform, modern or vintage, with minimal connections. We will first attempt to implement the design, which we are currently working on in FPGA. Should this succeed, we plan to move on to chip design and eventual chip production using Google services and eventually our own lithography labs. Our team is interested in integrated circuit or chip production and silicon fabrication using photolithography in general. Odin is the first chip in our dreams to achieve a new silicon fabrication plant. In a time where we keep hearing how important it is for us to increase the number of primary source silicon fabs across the globe, our team feels that it's a good time to begin focusing on these skills. We believe it is a realistic goal as governments and businesses will begin to invest heavily in increased fabrication plants globally, giving teams like ours ample opportunity to build new primary sources of chip technology. What better platform to start with than the increasingly popular 8-bit computing market? We hope that Odin will serve as a first project in a long line of projects aimed at building a team capable of producing the next generation of 8, 16, 32, and 64-bit computing chips. We want this chip to be an homage, in a way, to the original MOS VIC video interface chip 6560 or 6569. But we also want it to be designed with the latest techniques and technologies. It's called the Odin A100, which is inspired by modern graphics cards, as our hope is the Odin series will successfully dominate 8-bit GPU space, much like NVIDIA does today in high-performance compute spaces. We want this chip to be compatible with any and all 8-bit microcontroller units or microprocessor units, making it usable for homebrew computer designers. This increasingly popular educational pastime is making computing literacy more accessible, and we only foresee the need for such video chips increasing as that technological literacy grows. Some of the goals we have in mind, support for both NTSC and PAL with auto-detect features. The Odin A100 would target composite signals, but we could foresee an SVGA chip down the line. Onboard ROM for firmware, character sprite storage, which is user rewritable. Onboard cache for rapid calculations. Support for external VRAM, allowing the chip to interface with either a shared or dedicated RAM. Tile-based support at higher resolutions with bitmap support at lower resolutions. This is a design trade-off that can be made to include bitmap support without putting too much burden on the system at those higher resolutions. We want an FPGA implementation and eventually real DIP integrated circuits. That's, that's circuits that are very breadboard friendly. We want it to be fast, we want it to be small, compact, and affordable. If we can't meet those goals, it's almost not worth making. And perhaps most importantly, we want Odin to be open source. We do not see any point in pursuing a new 8-bit video chip unless it is open source and available for everyone to manufacture license free. This will allow the chip a chance to have as many primary manufacturers as wish to produce it without the burden of licensing fees. Uh, we have some future projects we want to do. We know that this project is very ambitious, but if we don't at least attempt to undertake it, we never really forgive ourselves. Regardless, we have other projects we wish to pursue that this one would empower us to accomplish. One such project is an open source 8-bit ISA or instruction set architecture and the accompanying implementation in the style of RISC-V. We're really looking at the RISC-V foundation and their licensing format to inspire us for this. It should be compatible with our Odin chips and have extra instructions for video interfaces. If we go through this all successfully, we eventually want to have a whole stack of open source chips we would call the Mages Guild, our company, ecosystem. 
The Mages Guild ecosystem will be purely open source from tip to tail. We are not interested in competing with nor replicating the success of proprietary chip manufacturers. We believe that chip design should empower the end user to really leverage technology to lift themselves up. We don't believe in holding the user hostage to closed tooling, poorly documented designs, hidden specifications, and extreme licensing fees. We want to share it with the world and watch it grow as we release our intellectual property to everyone for anyone to use. We do not believe in protecting our IP from you. We believe in protecting your right to use our IP however you wish. This is just how we think philosophically as a group. So to begin our journey, we are seeking initial funding. We have some of the equipment we need and we have some of the expertise we need, but we are only partway to beginning the project in earnest. It will be important for us to do the following things to complete the project purchase more equipment and set up some cloud infrastructure for the development team, improve competency and expertise through higher training with industry experts, attract a community of supportive followers who want to contribute in meaningful ways. You can contribute too, by the way. There's a Google form in the description that you can check out. And we gotta pay our bills. We gotta pay our bills and our rent. Uh, we have jobs to pay the bills, but it's, it's just about enough to pay the bills. It's not really enough to kickstart a project. This is an endeavor that we cannot and should not take on alone. It is a project for the community and it should be by the community. While it is our dream and we wish to spearhead this particular project, we believe strongly that the lack of a common dedicated 8-bit video chip is a problem that many people are facing right now. There are many homebrew FPGA implementations out there which we are studying in our efforts to design our own to prove that. If we do not do this work, someone else might, but they also might not. We are well past due for a renewed and open dedicated video interface. It is time for Odin. We plan to roll out Odin in two major phases. First, an FPGA implementation. We'll be standardizing on a Lattice ECP5 for phase one, and we'll be offering an appropriately implemented FPGA for backers who support us on Kickstarter. In phase two, we will seek to turn our FPGA implementation into a commercially available DIP package integrated circuit. We want to make sure that we are producing something breadboard friendly, and so DIP is our primary package target. Though with enough funding, we could also target some more packages like SOIC, which is a surface mount component, or BGA, which is ball grid array, another surface mount component. We will be seeking more crowdfunding as well as corporate sponsorship for phase two. In phase one, we are seeking only crowdfunding. So thank you everyone for listening. This is a dream of ours that we wish to see come true and we think the demand for such a chip is only going to climb. This is a good time for the community to come together and produce something that we can use well into the future, something that is not burdened by patents that each and any one of us could manufacture or have manufactured with the right tools or services. The future of hardware is open, but only if we do the work today. Please join our team in an early attempt to embrace open source hardware in the 8-bit computing space. I also want to thank the people that have helped me so far. My team, OptiCore 4F and Young Coder, shout out to y'all for creating this with me. Uh, Zeal 8-bit from the Zeal 8-bit computer for giving us a lot of great advice, a lot of great ideas, really being a mentor for the team. And Corbin from SkillQuest, who we should have a link in the description, uh, for giving us a shout out on their Discord server. We really appreciate your support. You know, solidarity in, in computer science education is important, and uh, we found it in Corbin and SkillQuest. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for your time. Peace. All right, y'all. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your time and any interest you might have in the project. Allow me to play you out. <laughs>